Uh, hi everyone. For those who came in late, my name is Parth. Uh, I look into India business at Frappe. Um, we are already running behind schedule and uh, most of you know ERP Next. So we'll keep this demo a quick one. I'll not go through uh, each and every module and show you each and every feature. Uh, I'll cover the most important part of any ERP, you know, a heart of any ERP which is accounting. Um, uh, I'll need probably three to four hours to complete entire ERP next, but we can't do that here. So we'll just go through a quick recorded uh, uh, screens and yeah. Uh, so you know the stats you have already seen. You know uh, there are 10,000 plus customers uh, users of ERP next, uh, 16,000 plus stars on GitHub. You know and some some other stats. We have 180 plus. I think we also uh, already crossed 200 partners now. Uh, next. Yeah, and this screen also you have seen multiple times. Uh, I think a couple of slides you already saw. So it's not only ERPNX now, there are a bunch of other applications as well, and, as well, and all these applications are 100% open source. Um, so talking about ERPNX particularly, it has all these modules, and uh, th there was not enough space for me to cover other modules as well. So right from uh, finance and accounting to uh, your uh, procurement, your sales, stock, uh, CRM, project management, and manufacturing. So all those modules are a part of ERP Next. Um, and yeah, so uh, because of the power of Rappi framework, ERP Next also, ERP Next is something that you can easily integrate with third party applications as well, right? We have REST APIs available. Um, and it's, it has mobile, go back. It has mobile friendly UI, uh, roles and permissions, which is a very important part of an ERP. Uh, you can restrict user permissions at a field level. So that level of uh, role permissions setup you can do in ERP next. Approval workflows, so you know, in, in case of purchases, companies' purchases, you want to have certain approval mechanism. Let's say if the invoice value is above certain, certain number, then you want the senior management to approve it. So we have approval workflows as well. Uh, then there are reports. Uh, you can also manage multiple companies under the same instance. And if, if you are doing business in multiple countries, we also have multi-company, multi-currency setup. Uh, next. Uh, yeah, again, you already know all this, so I'll not go into the details of these things. We'll move on to ERP next demo. We'll start with accounting. Uh, next slide. Uh, we're starting with the, you know, the fundamental one, the chart of accounts. Is this this screen visible, or we can do full screen? Uh, do full screen? Yeah. So you can see it. It, all, it comes with the uh, already set up accounting heads like assets, liabilities, uh, your income and expenses. Uh, these accounting chart of accounts heads are by default set. If you want to create a new one, just a click of, with a click of a button, you can create a child under a particular account. Uh, enter your details, define the type, and click on create, create new, that's it. So, you know, you can add childs as just, just like that. Um, yeah, I'll, you can focus on the video, I'll, I'll stop. If you want to edit an existing account, you can do that as well. So there are uh, settings available for each and every account. If you want to freeze an account, uh, if it is a debit account or a credit account, you can, you can define all that as well. So there are ledgers available. You can access the ledger right from chart of accounts. And there are filters on top. So if you want to filter it by a voucher or by a cost center, you can do that as well. You can see, so all these uh, uh, childs are, they come by default. You don't have to create it. When you sign up and create an account in ERP Next, this will be visible. If you want to add additional, you can do it. And there are some quick action buttons. You can expand quickly and uh, see a consolidated number of, uh, yeah. Uh, next one. Do escape. Uh, same one, play it. Go back and then. Next one is general ledger. 
So we are at sales invoice right now from, if you click on view button and go to accounting ledger, it will open general ledger for you. And as we already saw, there are different filters available on top. So multi-currency is available. So if you want to filter it by uh, different currencies, you can apply those filters. There is a group by option as well. If you want to group by voucher or group by account, then it will show values accordingly. So now this view that you see is grouped by account. So you can see total uh, account value. At yeah, you can apply date filter as well. If you, if you just apply a particular range uh, of which you want to see the invoices, you can do it from the filter. At a customer level also, if you want to filter out, you can do that. You can do 1.25 and do next slide. So uh, billing the most important one, right? Your accounts payables and accounts receivables. So we're creating a new sales invoice. Uh, Paused. Yeah, you can get, get the details if you already have a sales order. We just fetched all the information. You don't have to type everything manually. If the sales order is present, it will automatically fetch the details. If you have advanced payments against that invoice, you can fetch that as well so that the value is adjusted according to the advanced payments received. Yeah, the invoice is submitted. Now we will go to uh, accounting ledger and you will be able to see the entries also getting read automatically in, in your general ledger. Now if you go to account receivable report, you will see the value uh, of the sales invoice at a customer level. Next. Yeah, so one of the, one of the uh, uh, major advantage of using ERP next is it also comes with India compliance. So all GST related reports and all is a part of India compliance app. So uh, the taxation everything becomes very, very easy. And we have seen a lot of products miss out on the compliance related features. Whenever there are new updates or changes, India compliance app is updated. And according to the latest rules, laws and regulations, you will be able to see those things. Next. Yeah, so we have a tree view of cost centers, accounting dimensions and all. Uh, financial statements, your profit and loss report and all, this comes by default, you don't have to create it manually. Uh, Multi-company management, I already explained, it supports multi-company management. If you have sister companies and all, you can manage it under one single account. Then there's a procurement module, next. Uh, entire procurement cycle can be managed. There is no demo of it. Uh, I did not want to make it too lengthy. So right from material request to making the payment, entire procurement cycle you can manage within ERP next. There is a sales module as well, just like procurement, entire sales cycle right from creating a lead to opportunity quotation and converting that lead and finally creating sales order and receiving the payment. Entire flow is available in ERP next. We have manufacturing as well, which is again a huge module, uh, right from production planning to creating your uh, work order, bill of material, job card, and ultimately getting the finished good. Entire flow you can manage uh, in ERP Next. This is what a sample BOM looks like. Um, yeah, so a little bit about the cost. Uh, all those things that you saw, right, they are available in, in, the, in the open source version of ERP Next as well. We don't have any premium or licensed uh, version. And if you just compare it cost wise, it is beneficial not just for end customer, but also for our partners. Because uh, when you see a licensed product, large chunk of the deal size goes into the license, paying the license fees to OEM itself, right? So the deal value becomes huge. So for our partners, the deal value is relatively smaller and for customer overall cost of ownership goes down drastically. These are just some uh, sample uh, estimates based on 100 users and 500 users uh, use case. 
Yeah, so what you pay for is basically Frappe Cloud, which is a hosting platform. Uh, the customers will pay implementation uh, cost to the partner, and then the AMC for support and maintenance, that's it. Apart from that, there are, there are no other hidden costs and charges. Yeah, uh, if you want to learn and read more about Frappe, you can just take a photo or screenshot of this. You can visit the website. And also I want to take this opportunity to announce that our, uh, finally, our new ERP Next website is live. Uh, our, we, we, got, we went live with all our new products website first, but ERP Next being the biggest one and the, yeah. It deserves a special treatment, it came last. Uh, if you just go to the left hand side, you will see modules. All the video recordings that I added, uh, I showed you, uh, there are more in each and every module. If you just spend 15 to 20 minutes on the website, you will be able to understand uh, the capabilities of ERP Next very easily. There are uh, videos, screenshots and everything that is already available on the website. So yeah, do visit the website. If you have any feedback, feel free to reach out to us. Thank you so much.